Here we go. Game just started again. Let's check they didn't mess up to sieves. It's again Huns against Japanese. Indeed, here it is. Let's start looking. Oh wow, looks looks like uh, Caligo made the right call here. This map looks very wallable to me so far. Look, a few palisades here and here, and then a bit of palisading here and here, and he has an arena map himself. The gold is a little bit forward. This could be a let's say some kind of a bad thing for him but still the rest of the map so far looks very very nice to me too many hills a little bit here a little bit here but uh, so far it looks looks like a very good map for me taking a look at Stark's map let's check it out yeah the gold is uh, pretty much safe here at the back very very back uh, gold you still cannot TC it, that's obviously not very good, but still it's at the back. Looking at the front of his base, it's very, very open. Look at this, I, I don't think there's any walling possible here. Well, I don't know, I could still be surprised by, uh, <laughs> by how this goes, but looks like a very, very, very open map here. I don't think you will be able to, to wall this out. Anyway, whoa, look at this lumber camp. This is not, uh, like a bit of a bad lumber camp, uh, I don't know. I, after a few villagers it will be already pretty in inefficient, but... Uh, well, he, he obviously didn't scout all of the wood, although, yeah, he probably now realizes what a bad lumber camp this was, because he scouted the rest of the wood a little bit too late. He would have wanted to scout it a little bit sooner. Anyway, let's take a look at what's Caligo doing. Yeah, again, a fourth villager sent to the wood line. This usually means, not always, but this usually means we will have a rush, a dark age rush from the feudal, from the Hans player here. Um, Japanese themselves, they have a very, very strong uh, drush. This is also a very, very common strat by uh, the Japanese player when, the, when there is one. Because they are... Um, well, their militia are pretty much regular militia, but when they become men-at-arms, they uh, attack faster, they have an attack bonus which makes them very 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 strong so uh, let's see if um, Nigel chooses to take some kind of advantage from it and try to go men at arms and not only a drush or if he uh, sticks with the usual drush this looks a bit like a panning medic house to me yeah indeed he was housed for a split second not too bad but still he was housed let's hope that will not have a major influence on him um, since we are still at the beginning, I will take the time to take a slight look at the balance patch uh, changes, which I have here just for before my eyes. Uh, the hunt changes are pretty much pretty much known from uh, people who have been following this uh, tournament. It's the cavalry archers now uh, cost a little bit more than they used to for the hunt. That means it's not not so cheap as it used to be. They start with twenty less food. Then some slight nerfs, no, some slight increase, some slight boosts to the Tarkans. And that's pretty much it. About the Japanese, there's also not many changes. Looking at the Japanese uh, list of changes, I only see one, to be extremely honest. And that is they get Trade Mill Crane. If I'm uh, correct, I, I, I'm not 100% sure about this, but if I'm not mistaken, that's the research which allows you to build buildings a little bit faster. Very nice blocking of the boar here by Caligo. Um, making it possible for this villager to lure the boar without uh, dying. And without uh, having to make the loom. Very, very nice job by him here. Let's take a look at uh, Nigel. Yeah, he's putting villagers on gold already. This uh, looks to me like he will try to go up very soon. And then make men at arms. Yeah, he's doing the loom right away. There's there's no chance he will do something else. This will be men at arms. I, I'm fairly, fairly confident on this. Take a look at Caligo. Uh, he's not going for trash after all, it seems. Uh, or will he? What exactly is he doing? Pop 22 already, but uh, still doing some wall. I think he will actually try to just wall and... I, I'm not sure. Okay, now the loom goes... Trying to do the loom, it's a pretty bit late, you usually see Hans going up with 21 or 22 pop-up, depending on what kind of army they want to do. 
Let me see. Yeah, it just clicked up a little bit later than uh, Nigel even. And yeah, uh, it seems like I was right. Some militia already being made by uh, Stark here. Um, I'm not sure about this though, because uh, Kaligo can wall this map so easily. Look at this, it's, uh, with a few palaces it's almost completely walled already. So yeah, Stark, what are you gonna do, man? When uh, when those uh, militia uh, meet... Okay, going forward, okay, that's the thing to do, because look at this skull. If you put a tower here or something, this skull is very, very vulnerable. Um, nice, nice job by, uh, by Stark here, reading the map extremely well. Taking a look at Caligo, putting villagers on gold, yeah, he will probably go for um, for archers himself and not for the usual scouts you usually see with hunts, mainly because he will be expecting some mana tarns from the Japanese player. There we go. Feudal time for Stark is there. What will he do? A tower at his gold. Seems like a nice choice. Oh, but Caligo, so well done. Already making an outpost. Already expecting this and well done. Well done. He sees his tower straight away. Will he try to do something against this? Because this tower could be very, very bad for him. Still looks to me like a red uh, far tower to this gold. Should have been a little bit more close. But anyway, it did its job since uh, Caligo is now running to the uh, to the left uh, goal. To the goal at the left of his base. Mana Tarms already done, as we have expected. Tower is there, so he will get in here. There's no doubt about that. And Caligo needs to start thinking about what will he do to defend this. A little bit of walling, always nice. The stone walls, not only... Um, Palisade walls, which can be very easily broken by Japanese men at arms. Two archery ranges, as as I suspected. There will be archers going down from here. But he needs to finish this wall very fast, because uh, it could be that he can actually go inside Stark if he sees this on time. Is that a hole in here? Yeah, looks like he also thought there was a hole. In the meantime, looks like, yeah, Stark wants on stone. I miss, I think, to have missed that. The counter tower here. Oh my god, Stark, go away with this, this minute at arms. Or, well, was this a nice option? No, I don't think it was. Go back. There you go. Oh, what the fuck, eh? Yeah. <laughs> he wasn't pleased about this. Uh, yeah, and this tower, he needs to GB. He cannot stay here. He needs to go back with this. Um, anyway, let's see. He uh, needs to try and put pressure on the uh, other side of uh, the map. The good thing for him is uh, Caligo doesn't have any stone uh, at his town, so that means he cannot. Uh, he's not able to do a whole lot of uh, stone walling. He can probably stone wall this, but then I'm not sure he can st stone wall all of these things here. So he can still put pressure. It's still going on. Uh, good for him. Take a look of the uh, economies. Yeah, not too many farms uh, right now, but yeah, that's kind of expected. Yeah, he's trying to collect a stone, but here are the men at arms from uh, Stark. Uh, I don't think he can do it just with men at arms. He needs to add some skirmishers, otherwise these uh, uh, archers will just work these men at arms out to death with no problem. Yeah, he needs to go back with this. He cannot push without at least a little bit of skirmishers. Will he try to do this? Yeah, he's doing the skirmishes at the back, uh, actually at his main town. I would have expected him to do them here at the front. Anyway, nice engagement. Caligo doesn't seem to have been looking at this. Uh, yeah, but with a little bit of micro, he will be alright. I think one archer is dead. Two archers is dead. Are dead. A villager as well. A nice, nice, very nice job here by Stark. Wonderful job by Stark here. Killing so much and losing actually nothing. Wonderful job. I heard the tower going up. I'm not sure where. Let me check. Where was the tower? No. Seems I didn't hear a tower. Anyway, Caligo needs to do something. He has been... A few villagers from him have been killed, so he needs to do a little bit of raiding. He's doing the right thing right now. And yeah, there you go. A few skirmishes from Stark here. I reckon this is the right decision for him. Let me see. Will Caligo be able to do anything at all? Um, looks like Stark has uh, enough stone to do a few towers if he needs to defend himself. And Blacksmith is down. He will be doing the fletching, the plus one upgrade. There's no doubt about that. Yeah, still, st uh, he's been housed for a while now, it seems. Is he doing a house? Yes, he is, but uh, still housed somehow. He needs to do something against this. Um, well, I don't know why, why is Kaligu going back now. No, he's not. He's still moving in into this area. 
I don't know. It's if Stark sees this, he will be able to do something. Trying to raid here, he stopped the blacksmith on Caligo. Nice job by him. And now he actually has a few elite skirms, so this could be very bad for Caligo. I'm not sure if he actually need to GP these archers because uh, this could be very very bad for him actually. A tower going up here, very nice, again, aggressive style by Stark here. He will not be able to collect any more stone from here. Yeah, he's moving in with these archers, let's see the, the um, reaction from Stark. Uh, still, what will he do here? Um, he doesn't have the plus one attack on, on his army, he needs to GB this, actually. He's losing a little bit more than he would have wanted to here. He also still didn't notice this, uh, this this raid here, it seems like. Let's keep following this. Oh, it seems like this tower is gonna go up because Caligo wasn't managed... Okay, okay, uh, Stark didn't see this. He will lose two villagers. Okay, not too terrible. This tower went up. He lost a little bit of army, but it's uh, still okay. Oh, wow, and I, I, I totally missed this. Uh, there's so much thing going on at this moment. Stark walling Caligo in. Very nice job by him. him. Uh, yeah, those towers did something, but again, perfect reaction by Stark here. Doing a little bit of walling here, and then there's nothing these archers can do anymore. Does he have any gold here inside? Yeah, he has this gold here, which he can use. Very nice, very good for him. Another tower going up here. He will soon be close to this gold, which will be bad for Kaliga. Let's take a little look. Yeah, nicely defended. These archers are... GG, they need to back away, there's nothing they can do. Let's take a little bit uh, look at the economies here. Um, well, it seems pretty much even. Let's check the villager numbers. They're very, very even so far, so hard to say who has the advantage. Seems like, okay, uh, Stark needs to take a look at this. He's losing army here, he'll probably lose these villagers as well if he doesn't take a little He needs a little bit more skirms. Maybe he needs to go back with his villagers as well. Yeah. He definitely needs more skirms to come in since he's being uh, he's being outnumbered with his army at this moment. Anyway, these walls are completed for him. <laughs> well, at the moment that will not help him a whole lot, but later in the game that could be very very important for him. Let's see. Uh, yeah, these archers uh, still didn't. I don't know. Did I, I think they didn't kill any more villagers, but still being annoying here, and kept those this army from a Stark in his base, which he actually needs them to go forward. I'm not sure about this tower. Okay, I think he saw this wood and he thought there would be a lumber camp there, but there is not. So this tower is a little bit useless, looks to me. We're chasing down these archers while moving forward with the rest of the army. That's the right thing to do, I think. Uh, he needs to cancel this tower. He will lose all his stone which he invested in it. Come on, Stark, cancel this. Cancel, man. What are you doing? Oh man, he will lose it for nothing. That tower went away for nothing. He didn't didn't see it on time. In the meanwhile, um, nice army here from Kalig. Lots of archers already, and uh, Stark still missing the uh, armor upgrade here. So if he chooses to engage, he could actually win this fight. Or no, he's gonna go away. Does he have stone to make a few towers? No, he doesn't have enough stone, so he's afraid to move away, I think, because he knows that he has nothing to defend himself. Uh, Stark managed to keep him away from stone for a very long time. Okay, a nice number of uh, skirms here with the full upgrades now. Let's see how the micro goes. Um, at the moment, seems like Stark is getting the advantage here. Look at this, nice fighting, nice fighting here. Uh, Calico tried to micro, but still losing so many units for nothing. He needs to uh, use some villagers to help him out. Let's see if that will help him. Yeah, Stark feels compelled to GP. Anyway, nice, nice. Uh, look at this, almost no army left for Caligo. Very nice job by uh, by um, Stark here. Impressive, impressive job. He will now be able to push and look at this. Uh, Caligo managed to click up but um, he's now being pushed back and I don't see too much army here and he cannot do a tower. I'm not sure this was the right option to go up. Let's see how this will this work out for him. Stark still ma managed to doing nice damage here. Let's see, he's uh, still very, very uh, far away to going up himself, but uh, he has a very, very nice advantage here, and uh, Caligo will be in big troubles, because uh, he obviously has, uh, doesn't have enough resources now to make army since he clicked up, and he's being outnumbered at the moment, and he's also being tower rushed at the same time. Very, very tough spot for him at this moment. Let's see how he manages to come down from this. Seems to me like a big advantage at this moment. Let's see if the castle age... Another tower! Okay. <laughs> Para. 
<laughs> yeah, uh, for those of you who do not speak Portuguese, um, this uh, means stop making towers, please. Uh, yeah, Stark doesn't seem to... GG. Very, very, very well played here by Stark. Such a strong push. Towers surrounding his enemy. Very, very nice job. Whoa, the players do not want to give me any time whatsoever. They already launched the rest. And... Um, let me update the scores. It's gonna be 0-1. Impressive job here by Stark. Very aggressive blade. Very, very, very nicely played.